Hi, it's Eric White. In this screencast, I'm going to explore OpenXML word processing ML margins. I've created a sample word processing document. It's got some paragraphs, it's got a table, some random text. First thing I'm going to do is copy that document and paste it, rename it Test2. If I go into Test2, uh, first thing I want to do is look at margins around a table. If I right click here and go to Table Properties, go to this Options. Here we can see default cell margins. Let's put in 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and click OK. And we can see each cell now has margins around it. Let's save that. I'm going to use this little markup simplifier application that I've referred to in previous screencasts. You can find a blog post about this markup simplifier application here. In this particular case, I'm going to remove RSID info and bookmarks to test one and test two. Now I'm going to compare those two documents. Here we can see the markup that says the default cell margins for that table. Pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to go through an experiment of setting the left margin for the entire document. Copy that document, paste it, rename it. Now I'm going to select the entire text and click the indent. Now let's run markup simplifier on those test one through test three. Let's compare them. Here we can see that the indent has been set for the left margin. This has been set for each of the paragraphs in the document. Further, we can see that the indent has been set for the table in the table properties. There's another way that we can pursue changing margins. In this document, let's go to Page Layout, go to Margins, and I'll say that I want to change custom margins. I'm going to change the left margin to 1.5. Save it, close it. Go to Markup Simplifier. Apply it to all the documents. Compare files. Test 1. Test 4 is the new document. We can see that by changing the margins for the entire section, that Word had to change the grid column widths for the table. That's interesting, but more interesting is this markup down here. I'm going to close Document Explorer so I can see the differences in markup better. And here we can see the section properties. The left margin has changed. A question sometimes arises, now that you can see the difference and you know what markup you want to generate, what's the easiest way to determine the OpenXML SDK classes that you want to use? My favorite way is to use Document Reflector. So let's say that we wanted to look at what changed with test 3. I'll click here on test 3, drag it over and drop it onto the OpenXML SDK 2.0 productivity tool. Expand. So here we can see that the paragraph properties have been set and we could see over here that the class is indentation with a property of left set to 720. If 
if we want to see the differences in the table properties we can click on the table properties and look at the generated code here we can see the difference in the initialization of the table indentation class well that's enough for this screencast thanks for watching